The Foundations of Geometry by David Hilbert. Preface. The material contained in the following translation was given in substance by Professor Hilbert as a course of lectures on Euclidean geometry at the University of Göttingen during the winter semester of 1898 and 1899. The results of his investigation were rearranged and put into the form in which they appear here as a memorial address published in connection with the celebration at the unveiling of the Gauss-Weber Memorial in Göttingen in June 1899. In the French edition, which appeared soon after, Professor Hilbert made some additions, particularly in the concluding remarks, where he gave an account of the results of a recent investigation made by Dr. Dane. These additions have been incorporated in the following translation. As a basis for the analysis of our intuition of space, Professor Hilbert commences his discussion by considering three systems of things, which he calls points, straight lines, and planes, and sets up a system of axioms connecting these elements in their mutual relations. The purpose of his investigation is to discuss systematically the relations of these axioms to one another and also the bearing of each upon the logical development of Euclidean geometry. Among the important results obtained, the following are worthy of special mention. 1. The mutual independence and also the compatibility of the given system of axioms is fully discussed and by the aid of various new systems of geometry which are introduced. 2. The most important propositions of Euclidean geometry are demonstrated in such a manner as to show precisely what axioms underlie and make possible the demonstration. 3. The axioms of congruence are introduced and made the basis of the definition of geometric displacement. 4. The significance of several of the most important axioms and theorems in the development of Euclidean geometry is clearly shown. For example, it is shown that the whole of the Euclidean geometry may be developed without the use of the axiom of continuity. The significance of Desargues' theorem as a condition that a given plane geometry may be regarded as part of a geometry of space is made apparent, etc. 5. A variety of algebras of segments are introduced in accordance with the laws of arithmetic. These developments and discussions on the foundation principles of geometry is not only of mathematical but of pedagogical importance. Hoping that through an English edition these important results of Professor Hilbert's investigations may be made more accessible to English-speaking students and teachers of geometry. I have undertaken, with his permission, this translation. In its preparation, I have had the assistance of many valuable suggestions from Professor Osgood of Harvard, Professor Moore of Chicago, and Professor Halstead of Texas. I am also under obligations to Mr. Henry Coor and Mr. Arthur Bell for reading the proof. E. J. Townsend, University of Illinois. The Foundations of Geometry by David Hilbert the material contained in the following translation was given in substance by Professor Hilbert as a course of lectures on Euclidean geometry at the University of Göttingen during the winter semester of 1898 and 1899. It was translated by E. J. Townsend, Ph.D., University of Illinois. The text was downloaded from Project Gutenberg with the following notice. This ebook is for the use of anyone anywhere in the United States and most other parts of the world at no cost and with almost no restrictions whatsoever. Read by Jim Renholt. Programming and illustrations by Jim Renholt, 2019. Portrait of David Hilbert by Rita Ray Renholt. Thank you for listening.